In a small village called Oakwood, surrounded by dense, ancient trees and gentle hills, lived a young man named Ethan. Oakwood was a peaceful place where people knew each other, and life flowed in harmonious tranquility. But Ethan was different. He had an insatiable yearning for something he couldn't name, a constant pull in his chest that kept him awake at night and occupied his thoughts during the day. One evening, as the sun disappeared behind the hills and the sky turned a deep blue, Ethan heard a soft, melancholic tune. It was barely more than a whisper in the wind, but it was there. Curious and fascinated, he followed the melody, which led him deeper into the forest than he had ever ventured before. The trees seemed alive, their branches like arms reaching out to him. After a while, he reached a clearing he had never seen before. In the center stood an old, dilapidated cabin, surrounded by wildflowers and creeping ivy. The song was now clear and seemed to come directly from the cabin. Cautiously, Ethan stepped closer and opened the creaking door. Inside, it was dark, with only a faint beam of light coming through a broken window, illuminating a dusty grand piano. The keys were worn, but still in good condition. Ethan sat down, his fingers trembling with excitement and nervousness. As soon as he touched the keys, he felt a strange connection to the instrument. It was as if the piano could read his thoughts, responding to his touch. He began to play, and to his surprise, he knew the melody he had never heard before. It flowed through him, his fingers moving as if on their own. Suddenly, he was no longer in the cabin. He found himself on a stage, before an audience of shadows. The music seemed to transform the world around him, the darkness giving way to a soft, warm light. The shadows turned into figures who smiled at him and applauded. In their eyes, he saw stories and memories that felt oddly familiar. As the last echo of the song faded, Ethan found himself back in the cabin. The figures had vanished, but the feeling of connection remained. He knew he had experienced something extraordinary, something that would change his life forever. With a newfound purpose, he left the cabin and returned to Oakwood. In the following days, Ethan couldn't stop thinking about the melody and the figures. He felt that the song told a story, a story he needed to decipher. He began researching in the village, collecting old legends and stories. The villagers were surprised by his interest, as no one had mentioned the old tales in years. But gradually, the memories resurfaced. An old woman named Martha told him about a musician who had lived in Oakwood many years ago. He was known for his extraordinary abilities and melancholic melodies. People said he had the gift of touching people's souls with his music, revealing their deepest secrets. But one day, he disappeared without a trace, taking with him his piece known as the Forgotten Song. Ethan knew he had to unravel the mystery of this musician. He returned to the cabin and spent hours playing the piano, perfecting the melody. Each note seemed to give him a new clue, revealing another piece of the puzzle. He began writing down the melody and discovered hidden messages and symbols within it. One night, as he played, a figure appeared at the cabin door. It was the musician Martha had described, but he was no longer flesh and blood. He was a ghost, trapped between worlds. Ethan felt no fear, only a deep sense of connection. The ghost smiled and nodded to him in approval. The musician told him his story, how he had composed the song to find lost souls and bring them peace. But he had become a lost soul himself, trapped in the melody he had created. He asked Ethan to finish the song and set his soul free. Ethan promised and spent the next days and nights completing the song. He played it repeatedly until he mastered every note, every pause, every nuance. When he played the melody for the last time, something wondrous happened. The cabin began to glow, and the musician's figure became clearer. With a final, grateful look, the ghost dissolved and disappeared. Ethan felt a deep sense of fulfillment, knowing he had done the right thing. He returned to Oakwood, but he was no longer the same. The melody was now a part of him, and he knew he had to carry on the musician's gift. He began playing in the village, his music filling the hearts of the people with comfort and joy. The story of Ethan and the forgotten song spread, and soon people from far and wide came to hear his music. The melody, once just a whisper in the wind, became a symbol of hope and peace. Ethan knew that the connection he felt with the old musician would never end. As long as he played, the forgotten song lived on, reminding people that even in the deepest darkness, a spark of light existed. And so, Ethan stayed in Oakwood, his heart and soul filled with the music born in an old, dilapidated cabin. The villagers called him the soul musician, and his melodies became a cherished part of their lives. 
Oakwood thrived, becoming a place where people found refuge and solace, guided by the gentle strains of the forgotten song.